What is going on guys? My name is Caddy and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. And today we are going to be having an NU Stroke PU battle. Well, I say we, I mean I'm having an NU Stroke PU battle. Don't know if my opponent's got the same idea, but let's assume not, because I'm against some Japanese guy. Obviously I do not know them. So yeah, what's he bringing? Oh my god. Can't say I'm surprised, but okay. Ign ignore this team. Um, my team, guys, is pretty unusual. Yeah, we've got Sandaconda, we've got Swirlix, we've got Cinchino, we have got Hatrem, Vespiquen, and Magmortar. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle. So yeah, let's go. I am going to be leading off with Swirlix because if you remember back in Gen. Seven? Yeah, Gen 7. And um, Swirlix could get um, sticky webs as an egg, egg move. It could still get it this gen after numerous breeding. And, um. So, yeah. Um, because I can't use Slurpuff in a new. Um. um we, we use Swirlix. So, it's obviously Focus Sash because Swirlix can't live a hit off anything. And that's a Genesect. Alright, okay, that's fine. Um, obviously the Swirlix does pack um, sticky webs, we've also got Yawn, um, Cotton Spore and Endeavor. A bit of a troll set really, so okay that's a flash cannon. We are going to be taking to Sash, don't really care. Because um, our main objective is to get the sticky webs up because I, I need them. Because uh, this team is kind of built around Sandaconda and um, We'll get to that when we send Sandaconda out. Um, so uh, I'm thinking, do I want to preserve this for um, Death Fodder? I think I do. So we're going to send out Helheim, um, my Magmortar. This Magmortar is um, choice specs with the Flame Body ability. Um, we pack Fire Blast, Psychic, Thunderbolt, and and, and Scorching Sands because um, yeah, Magmortar can run that. And was that Energy Ball? It was Energy Ball. Bit of a weird um, move switch up, but okay. So, anyway, you know, I'm gonna go for the fire blast, and this guy, well, really, if he's smart, he should switch. Uh, which is not, which is, well, he's not smart, so uh, it's a dead insect. So, cheers for that, you know, that's one less threat to worry about. I'm actually surprised I outsped him then, because <laughs> I'm, I'm modest nature. Because uh, I want all the power. This is kind of like a wall breaker. This. Um, so that's where she threw. That is um, single strike. So that's dark type. So uh, right. So we're going to switch. I want to send in Sandaconda, but obviously I want to send in send it in Hellface. So um, yeah, we're going to send in um, Swirlix for Death Fodder. Swirlix, Swirlix has done his job. Uh, did its job two turns ago, but okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, you can just wicked blow this for me. That'd be uh, that'd be great. Wicked blow my uh, my cloud, and uh, yeah, that's where it's gone. That's where it's is a cool pop. Ah, okay. it's got sweet. By the way, um, Swirlix's ability is speed veil, so I can't be put to sleep. I'm trying to set shit up. So out comes Sandaconda. Now this Sandaconda is very unique. It is the call set, but if you look at my move set, it's got Body Press, it's got Earthquake and Skitter Smack. Yeah, Sandaconda can run Skitter Smack. I did not know that until um, the Dynamax uh, journeys um, started. <laughs> Dynamax Adventures, that's it. Because um, the rental Sandaconda could get um, Skitter Smack then. Um, well, I've got one coil up, and that critical hit is still um, a free hit KO with Wicked, Bl Wicked Blow, so. So I'm going to go for the body press uh, after one coil. Detect, okay that's fine. Uh, because this Sandaconda is actually impish nature with max defense. Um, but I've got 96 EVs in attack, 96 EVs in speed and the rest are all in HP. Because um, I do want to outspeed some stuff and I might as well get a bit of attack in. So that's body press. Ooh, that's not bad. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't know I'm going to take this wicked draw because yeah. 
So I outspeed him because of sticky web, so I'm going to go for the body press, and he's probably yeah yeah he's going to go for the uh, the pointless detect, just delaying the inevitable, just just let it happen, dude, just let it happen. You're going down either way, so you know what? This is probably the only chance I'm go going to get. So let's just use Skitter Smack for the hell of it. It's actually quite good for Skitter Smack on the Sandaconda, I reckon, because. Um, it's a great counter for grass types and, uh, and combine it with coil because um, Skitter Smack is uh, only a 90 accuracy move. Skitter Smack um, coil um, boosts accuracy, so there you go. Um, Skitter Smack is just a shitty version of Lunge, but there you go. That's Dragapult and um, that's Clear Body as well, so yeah, obviously I need to switch. So. To be very honest, who's going to attack a, um, a Dragon Bolt attack? Um, it's going to have to be some Genome and hope he goes for the um, Ghost move. Okay, Sinchino, this Sinchino is Choice Banded with the Skill Link. Um, we've got Tail Slap, Bullet Seed, Knock Off, and U Turn. Okay, can I take this Dragon Pulse? I can, just about. But he's going to take me out here because he outspeeds naturally and he hasn't got a speed drop, so I don't really have a switch in. Great. You know what? I'm going to have to let it go, so I'm going to have to knock it off. What? I outsped? No, well, that, you know that's fine by me. Okay, will you hold an item? There you go. What? You were holding X speed? No, that dude, that that's not how it works. No X speed. You you give it to the Pokemon. You, no, you let the Pokemon consume it. Uh, you don't give it to hold. It, it does nothing. Uh, anyway, that that was, I, I was laughing when I when I saw that. <laughs> um, okay, Zashian's out. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll out speed because. Um, this thing you know is max speed and um, speed drop because of sticky webs on that Zashian so I'm just going to knock off the damage onto a clean switch in so what are you going to go for? Sacred Sword? That's cool. Uh, okay, Sinchino is gone because I have got actually got a plan in mind so I'm going to bring in my Hatrem and this Hatrem is um, well obviously Eviolite, bold nature now you know Hatterings like to set up Trick Room, well this Hatterim doesn't because um, if you didn't know it, it can get Nuzzle as an egg move so I'm going to Nuzzle this um, Zashian uh, even with the stick webs up I don't have speed because I'm not, not that fast but I took a Behemoth Blade pretty well um, but my main objective was to paralyze the Zashian so I can go for the um, Healing Wish so I can bring my Sandaconda back out again. So we'll go, go for the Healing Wish and um, we'll go say bye bye to Hatrem. You should really try Hatrem guys, it's a really good Pokemon in the lower tiers. Um, it's got the Magic Bounce ability as well so that's cool. Um, donuts, my Sandaconda is going to come back out. Healthy as anything again. By the way, this Sandaconda item is Expert Belt because I don't actually know what item to give it at the time. And I thought, you know what, we'll just give it Expert Belt. And it's actually working pretty nicely. So, so yeah, we are going to coil up because I feel very confident. confident. I might even get another coil up, I reckon. You know, set up over this Ashley, which, you, which I thought I'd never say that. Uh, right, no. Forget the second goal. This Zashian has to go now. I don't want a plus three Zashian in my face. Not a chance. Just earthquake the motherfucker right now. You're dead. I hope you're dead. I'm not max attack though. Oh, thank god you're dead. Alright, it was a crit. Uh, did it matter? Mm, I don't know. So, looking at these remaining mods he's got, I think he's got Cinderace and Eternatus, if I remember rightly. I think Sandaconda could finish up here. So, Cinderace is out. Um, 
if my Sandicon outspeeds. That's a dead cinder race, because I'm just going to go for Earthquake again. Do I outspeed? Do I outspeed? I do outspeed, good. So that's a dead, uh, dead cinder race. Didn't, didn't need to look into my crystal ball to see if it would survive that. Because it will never ever survive a stab earthquake from Sandaconda because its attack is pretty nice. So it's about 107 to its base attack. So Eternatus is out. Um, I might not be able to outspeed this because it's an Eternatus. But you know what? Screw it. We're going to go for the earthquake because I'm pretty sure. F I'm pretty sure we can uh, one shot this. Depending on what attack he goes for. So he does outspeed, he goes for a Dynamax Cannon. I can probably take this. It's on the special side though. Oh yeah, took it like a man. Uh, we're going to Earthquake and... We just want to do an Eternatus. So there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed this battle. Uh, remember to comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.